Welcome back to the Evansville Otters pregame show here on WUEV 91.5 FM. I'm joined by Evansville Otters first baseman Brandon Doolin. How are you doing today, Brandon? Doing good. Well, thank you for joining me. You've been swinging a very hot bat as of lately. In your past couple games, you have two home runs. Over your past eight, you've been hitting 333. And coming into those games, you've been struggling a little bit. What's really clicked for you? Um, just approach, you know, trying to work and, you know, getting pitched a lot differently than um, I'm usually, you know, pitched to. So just making the adjustments and trying to, you know, attack the ball when it's in the zone and not chasing pitches that are out of the zone. You mentioned you've been pitched a little bit differently than what you're used to. What have been some of the changes you've seen here in the Frontier League? Um, a lot more off speed. Um, definitely a big difference uh, from where I've been at. You know, I usually get a lot more fastballs and stuff like that. So just kind of, you know, being very more selective on pitches and getting, you know, more stuff to drive is what I've been really working on. And one thing I think goes a little bit unnoticed for you is you've been playing very good defense over at the first base bag. How much pride do you take in not only being a good offensive first baseman, but also defensively? I take a lot of pride. Um, I do a lot of work, you know, to stay on top of the defensive side. And, you know, you got to take, you know, pride on both sides. So I take a lot of pride on hitting and I take a lot of pride on playing defense. The first home run you hit over the weekend against Southern Illinois tied up the game at two in the top half of the ninth inning where you, obviously you're never, quote unquote, trying to hit a home run, but were you looking for a pitch in your spot there? Yeah, yeah, I was looking for a pitch, you know, kind of middle in, and, and he actually gave it to me, and I just didn't miss it, so. <laughs> What's that like, being able to tie a game up for a team? I know you guys went on to lose, but that was a big moment for you guys because you've been struggling offensively all game. You've been shut out. To be able to come through in the clutch, what's that feel like? Oh, it's an amazing feeling, you know, just getting the opportunity and getting the pitch that you're looking for and actually putting the barrel on it. I mean, it gets you excited, you know, and then it kind of helps the team pick them up and get some momentum, and just that day just didn't work for us. And so to start the year, you were actually with the Washington Wild things in spring training before coming here to Evansville. How difficult is it to be let go by one team and immediately have to jump into another and try and make that squad as well? Um, it's exciting, stressful at the same time. Um, you know, it's like an up and down roller coaster, but you just got to keep a level head and just keep, you know, grinding and taking the opportunities when you get them. So you've been playing far from home for quite a bit of time now. Obviously, you're from Montana. What's it like moving from there to now here to Evansville, previously in Washington, to be able to try and adjust and make yourself at home? Um, it's not too bad. It's, uh, I mean, it's all similar. I mean, it's just a lot more human. That's the only thing. <laughs> <laughs> in last night's game, when you homered out to right, I watched you out of the box. You were hustling pretty hard. You didn't think that ball was out, did you? You never know. Um, sometimes you hit them hard, they don't go out, and sometimes you hit them hard, they do go out. So I always like to try to get hard out of the box, even though, you know, you never know. You never know. Does that, does that stem from one time trying to pimp a home run and it didn't go out? I've only pimped one home run in my life, and it did go out, but I don't want to be that guy that does pimp it, and then it doesn't go out, and then you have, you know, you're getting the earful from the skip, and yeah, I just don't want that. <laughs> what, what was the situation? Why did you pimp it? Uh, we just had, it was a rivalry team, and basically, you know, they were talking a lot of stuff, the pitcher was talking, and I got a hold of it, and I just, you know, the emotions got the best of me, and, you know, it felt good, and then it didn't feel good, so it was one of those, you know, double-edged swords, but well, definitely probably won't do that again. Well, hopefully we get to see you pimp one tonight, thankfully. Thanks for joining me, Brandon. All right, sounds good. Thank you. You've been listening to the Evansville Otters pregame show here on WUEV 91.5 FM.